Today, I'm here with Jan. Welcome, Jan. Hello. Hello, Hot the Cat. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, and I also want to extend a thank you to anyone watching on our Twitch page or anyone who is watching in the future on our YouTube archive. Thank you so much. How are you here? Uh, yeah. So welcome. Welcome. How are you doing today, Jan? Uh, I'm doing good. I have I have a quick um uh just curious housekeeping question real quick. Sure, sure, of course. Um um so uh this is a live broadcast and I've I've used like Instagram live and such before uh -huh. um where it like tells you when people are watching but this doesn't do that. Hmm. So it's just like we it's like we're uh, talking we can't see if anyone's watching right now. Is that is that what's I, going I on? I can I can tell if anyone's you can. watching. Okay. Uh, as the host. Uh Okay. But yes, I, I believe uh, the guests cannot see, uh, which to some people I think is a, uh, a boon. Uh, some people yeah. like that, and, uh, but it is kind of an odd thing. It is an odd thing. Sometimes I wish I couldn't see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, okay, either way for me. Um, yeah, yeah. But to answer your question... Update. No, uh, yeah, uh, let's just let's just keep it in the dark, keep <laughs> it right. in the darkness of space. All right, um, right. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm glad. I'm very. I'm very excited. I was like, um, <sighs> tomorrow's my last day of school before spring break. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, nice. so I'm in a good mood um, because of that. To be honest, earlier today I was like, man, I don't want to fucking do this show. I got to do shit. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I was like, I was just, I like didn't want to do anything because I've been doing a lot because it's like midterms and stuff. So, you know, yeah, like yeah. all that. But then, but then like around like 6 30, I was like, oh, yeah, I got to be on that show. Um, <laughs> what shirt am I going to wear? <laughs> like, and it started, yeah. And, I, and it started to be fun again. Okay. That's good. I, I'm glad you're, like uh, you've, you came around to the fun. Uh, because, uh, to be honest, this is, uh, silly bullshit that we're doing. Um, and it doesn't really matter if you really, uh, were overwhelmed by other stuff, like mm -hmm. you would be totally welcome to just like pop in and be like, no, nah, sorry, I'm out. Uh, <laughs> and that would be fine. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm uh, here now. I, I took the spaceship all the way here. Yeah. Yeah. So and, it was a long I'm, ride. <laughs> I'm really, uh, I am really pleased that you're here. Uh, you're someone that I've I've tried to get to come on uh, for a little while. Like we we've talked about like we talked about it during this past summer, I believe. Uh, and is that right? Yeah, it was like. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was definitely at um, Christmas when I saw you Christmas. Okay, at yeah, the yeah. dog park. But I I, <laughs> I want to say that I I reached out. I I had been thinking about it before we uh had a chance to talk then um like i had been starting to think about like 
oh, who would be like a nice person to like come on the hot show? And uh, Jan, you came to mind. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm really uh, pleased to have you here. Yeah. How long have you been doing the hot show? The hot show started in June uh, 2021. June of last year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's been a minute. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's been going uh, almost every week. Uh, we've missed a few weeks from various things. One, I was in for Montana and uh, couldn't do it there. Um, yeah. But mostly, almost every week. Uh, yeah, it's been going. We've been doing this for That's some awesome. reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for some yeah. reason. Who knows? Um, you say it in the song. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have to point out that I really like how uh, your the I'm guessing the couch that you're on. Um, you're on a couch, but the coloration is similar enough to your shirt. It just looks like it's expanding out <laughs> randomly. Uh, totally right. <laughs> it matches the wall and it just, <laughs> yeah, it blends seamlessly blends in. I'm just like this, yeah, yeah. this radiating orb yeah, in space. It's like you're you have your arms just out, like flat. perpetually yeah. excited. Yeah. I'm like treading. I'm like I have to tread up here. You know, like you, just, you can't just. just you can't just like float in space all by yourself. You got to right. work for it. Like yeah, you're yeah. treading in space there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just tread in space. Yeah, great, 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 great. Uh, let me check something real quick. Okay, we're still okay. good there. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes we have a uh, a producer person uh, who mm -hmm. does some of the like back end work of like. Oh, if somebody's here, they might, you know, chat with them and say like, "Oh, hold on, just a sec," or like bring them in if they come in and stuff. Uh, okay. I uh, when they are like that, I can have my screen like full screen, um, mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to do that now just because it didn't seem like anyone was here, and I I would like to like mostly just be present with you, you know. Um, and so I need to check it every now and then because we do not have that producer person here. Sure, sure. You're wearing you're wearing two hats right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing yeah. two hats. Wow. Um. So, um. I. So this episode, uh, I think, is maybe one of the like most abstract ideas. Uh, that has been a hot show episode topic um, wow. in a certain way, you know, where uh, as, as the poster was there uh, here, I'm going to just bring this up uh, that this episode is uh, exteriorly. Yes. Uh, now, I want to I'd like to give a little bit of background about uh how this episode came to be uh so asterious. Um and so we finally made the connection that we were going to do this show. Uh and I didn't yet have a topic. Um but I I start. I started kind of like looking around just for silly ideas, you know, as I do for this show. And one of those things ended up being a fake word generator that I found on the internet. Um, and one of the words that came up with that was the word asteriously. Um, I thought it was a pretty silly word the first time that I saw it. Um, like, what is asteriously mean? Um, but what it got me to thinking about was this uh, idea um, of definition. And like, uh, we were kind of talking, you know, the when we talked the other day, kind of planning for this episode, uh, that 
about like this idea of definition and how like when I first met you, um, you were a like my impression especially of you was as like a metalhead dude that like farmed. Uh, and you were like living like urban farmer, like you were living in the city and you were like a guitarist in like a pretty, a fairly hard band, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in like, I can't remember when exactly we met, but in probably in a couple different bands that were playing heavy. I was playing, I guess I was playing bass in both of those bands then. Okay. In, okay. In Attaboy and Let Us Head, I was playing bass. And I was playing guitar in a country band. Let yeah. Us Head is the one yeah. that I saw first. Okay. Yeah. 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 And now. Yes. Uh, Let Us Head was a, Let Us Head was a, a stoner yeah. rock and roll outfit. <laughs> yeah. Good old some like good hard stoner music. Uh, yeah. And I was thinking about, uh, the things that I know about your life now, and almost none of those things are true anymore. Uh, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you no longer live in a big city. Uh, you mostly focus on piano now, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You're in school for like, it, it, it's not, are you in school for classical piano or are you in school for like composition and stuff i'm in school yeah music theory composition and okay, then okay cool cool i'm yeah like within that i'm studying classical piano and jazz piano too now but mostly classical oh cool piano. yeah very cool very different than uh your previous uh definition <laughs> and so like this idea really captured me uh like, yeah, yeah. How would you define yourself now? Like, I, I believe on the phone, actually, what you said was, uh, I, 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 I don't want to screw up the phrasing that you had. Uh, <laughs> but in my mind, it was sexy piano chick. Sexy piano lady. <laughs> sexy, sexy piano lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's it. Because <laughs> I'm older now. <laughs> um, yeah, which is such a a different like metalhead farmer dude. Like very different, uh, and it really got me to thinking about this idea of like how we define ourselves, and like how we. Like you, you told me like about how when you talk to people, because you moved, you moved to a city, like a new town, like when you started going to school and also when you like were transitioning. And so like the people that you know where you live now don't know you in the way that like people you used to know, like knew you. I don't know. And so I'm just like really interested in this idea of like, what, like how is it to like just redefine yourself like that? Like, I don't know. It's such an interesting idea. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and you know, it's like the kind of thing that like happens like over time right like it's like right, it's right. it's happening slowly over time when i look back on it i'm like whoa holy shit like everything's totally different but also like as far as like moving to a new town and not knowing anybody like having all these like huge life changes kind of happen at the same time um because i started transitioning about the time that i got accepted into school like um like where i auditioned and got in right and like this was just a couple months after i'd moved to um the, where i'm living now um so no one no one that i even and it took me a few months to meet people here it's like pandemic and everything so like right, right. everyone i know here i've only known for like maybe like eight months ten months something like that um not long mm -hmm. not even a year um so like i mean yeah there was like a point where i was meeting people like and, and like no one who i'm in proximity with had i known longer than like 
six months for you know it's like a very short period of time so like I, I was telling you the other day like it's about like talking to my roommate like i like my roommate plays in a cover band and like a chicago cover band and and nice nice and i was like oh yeah i used to play in a led zeppelin cover band and he was like what <laughs> i was like yeah he was like you played guitar in a led zeppelin cover band and i was like uh yeah i did i used to be a roadie who played guitar in a led zeppelin cover band and i fucking could shred too like i used to be a guitar monster like um and like i just don't do that anymore i don't, yeah, I don't think yeah. about it anymore right so it's like there's like that or just like i mean yeah all the ways you've known me or like anyone else who i'd like because when I was, you know, living uh, the last place I lived, I lived there for 10 years. That's a long right. time of just like being the same kind of person to the same people or like, right, you know, right. changing very slowly versus like having this like clear division from like one part of my life to the other. Right. right. On. So I mean, fucking weird at first. I felt like I felt like I was in like like a Western or something. I had just like... <laughs> like move town and like change my name and cut my hair and was like hi yeah. here's me and here's my backstory and no one knows anything about me like yeah see it was, it was really disorienting this is this is something that is one of the most interesting ideas about this is that you obviously when you like introduce yourself into a new place like in like the the western you know like you walk into town and in some ways you can tell any story that you want and that's the definition that people know you as. Uh, yeah. And in some ways, that's like a really freeing thing. But also, like, it's really strange because you know that you've lived all of this life that happened before. And I think this is true no matter what. Like, anyone who moves to a new place and has to, like, meet new people will have to pick and choose parts of their past life to talk about. Uh, and to tell about and it's such a big thing that you no matter what you are defining yourself in a new way uh, yeah. to new people and it's just uh, like it's cool <laughs> yeah and it's like it's really refreshing too right because like I, I feel like a lot of times we go through um you know and like everyone everyone does this like where you know, like a lot of times how you meet somebody can be, or like how you know them in the first period of time that you know them is like how you can end up seeing them for a long mm, time. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it can be hard when people see you a certain way, I feel like it can be hard to step out of that, you know, like, like, and I, I feel like, you know, me being this like fucking rock and roll Led Zeppelin cover band guitar <laughs> dude, like, um, you know, for like which which was like a short period of my life right you know i was only in that band for a couple of years like um but a lot of people in chicago knew me as that person and they saw me as that person so like and when that's like constantly being reaffirmed um especially like if you haven't like totally like formulated like a new sense of yourself yet like maybe you feel like that's not it but you don't know what that new thing is yeah, right yeah, yeah. you know so like you're just kind of like oh yeah i guess i am that person like i guess i don't know i don't know what else i am <laughs> so like i guess i'm still that and, like i think i i think i probably held on to that for a long time right. too like trying right. to be what i thought others thought i was what i still thought i was yeah, like yeah 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 so no. it's like here, go okay. ahead no i i, I really get that i when, uh, when you were talking uh, at, er, a little bit earlier, one of the thoughts I had, say, like saying that you've been like, you were living in a place for like 10 years. Like, and I was thinking like, that is such a hard situation to try to redefine yourself in. Because like, everyone has an idea of who you are and they're kind of like putting it on you every time that you interact because there's just like so much inertia in that way that like it's it's hard to break out of it to do something that is out of that character that people have built of you in their heads yeah um, um yeah and it's like so like yeah two things for that because like you know and it's, <laughs> it's um 
like it's very true and it's like it's easier with friends i feel like to break those things but like it's kind of getting to like right. the same thing where like you know like family dynamics right like you you go off like you you live with your parents and then you go off and you become your own person and then like you're like oh i'm not gonna you know i'm a fucking different person when i go home now and then you get around your parents and like the same kind of like dynamics sort of like revert right it's like a pretty common thing <laughs> yeah, so yeah, like yeah. with friends it's a little bit easier but i feel like it's the same thing we're like or you know like when you like talk, like hear stories of people like who are like friends in high school and they meet back up and they act just like you know like they never miss a moment like that sort right, of thing right um so there's like that and then the other thing is that like you know, even people you're comfortable around, like, it's still really scary to change around too. even if like, you, you're pretty sure they're going to be cool. At least it was for me. Like, I remember, like, when I first came out, like, I was hanging out with you for like, the first time, like, and I like, like, um, and I, and I like went over to your place. Um, and I was wearing like a, a tank top that I had never worn before, like a more like feminine one. And like the whole way over there, I was like freaking the fuck out. I was like, and it wasn't much different. Like I, that was it. Like that was the only thing that was about me that was different. I was like wearing like jeans and like, you uh -huh. know, this new tank top. Right. But I was like, oh my God, like they're going to think I'm fucking like just trying right. some shit. And like, I'm a fake. And like, I mean, yeah, just it's like changing in front of people is, is hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, though, I mean, like, right there, even, like, I feel like you're kind of pointing to this thing that, um, because for my experience of that moment was, like, that you had, like, come out, but, like, that, like, you hadn't, I don't, like, seeing you that day, like, it wasn't, it didn't feel different. Like, even though you were freaking out, I, I don't even know if I necessarily noticed because I think like right. there, there had been, you had kind of been like slowly transitioning the way that you had dressed for a little while. But yeah. it, I think in ways that maybe were within that comfort yeah. to you or something. Uh, and for me, like there wasn't that difference to like right. how you especially to how you were dressing that was like what are you doing no like, it was just like <laughs> yeah yeah oh hey like it's nice to see you like <laughs> yeah yeah uh, um yeah good yeah uh, good no yeah and like it's you know, like, even, like, you saying that, too, right? I guess it's, like, it's, like, a big thing. It's, like, you know, like, whoever's, like, internal experience of it. Because, like, you're right. Like, I wasn't dressing that different. And, like, if I hadn't changed the way I saw myself, if I was wearing the same tank top, it might have not felt weird. I've just been, like, oh, this is, like, just this different shirt that I'm wearing. Like, you know, it's, like, a tank top. It's a little more feminine. But, like, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I do that sometimes. Um, but, like, because I was, like, okay, like, I'm fucking trans like day three <laughs> right. and i was like and this is the new me <laughs> like here right, i am right. world like it felt like you know it yeah. was like well it was like really symbolic too right it wasn't right, just right. like a shirt it was like it was this shirt that is redefining who i was <laughs> in that moment you know how i will be from this moment forward so yeah right yeah yeah and i guess like what what i the idea that i had that i ended up kind of forgetting part way through what i was saying was that like in a, in a lot of ways, like that redefinition, like it, it had to happen in, it, it was like an internal experience, uh, like maybe even more so. And like, it, it, especially with what you were just saying that like, if you hadn't like kind of made that like redefinition of now I'm trans, like that you, you wouldn't have even like thought about it yourself. Um, but like making that definite like change in your own head, like really changed kind of how you thought about the acts that you were doing. Like it redefined the context for what you were doing in your own mind. And that was like a necessary step to like be really outward about it kind of uh yeah yeah no it's like yeah context is like i think that's like the key word there is like because it is like it is all about the context it is like how 
um, yeah, just like the ways that we see ourselves or the ways that others see us and like what we do in that like with that context in that realm that make things like seem significant or not. Mm -hmm. um, right. You right. know, cause like if you're, yeah. if you're this person doing so, like, and, and, you know, like there's, and there's a lot to say in that about like, you know, um, like permission we get from other people to do things or permission we give ourselves to do things too. Cause like, you know, if right. you are one kind of person, you might have permission to do something, but if you are a different kind of person, you might not have permission to do the same thing. And like, you know, who gets to decide, what kind of person you are, you know, ultimately like right. you do. Right. right. And that's like, right, right. you know, that's the thing. It's like, you know, like, like in that moment, you could have been like, oh, Jan, like you can't wear that tank top. Like you're not that kind of person. <laughs> I would have said, be like, fuck off, hot the cat. I am that kind of person. Like, you know, that's, that's my definition of it. And, and like uh, this, I'm going to like embody that, you know, not to say that there's one way to embody right, like a definition. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it does make me think about uh, uh, the first time of like, like the first times that I was like, hot the cat as seen now, like that before that, like, it, you know, in some ways, I guess in a certain way, I was uh, dressing as a normal uh, guy uh, playing guitar uh, and then, yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. you know, like, and that was sort of the like cover of like being hot the cat. I mean, I was still hot the cat, but I, I would just, you know, to most people, I would, I just looked like a normal person. But then I, I started like performing like this, and it, there was like. It, there like had to be like this internal shift in my mind of like how do I do this in a way that's like comfortable for me because like for anyone else it's kind of like wow that's silly you know like for <laughs> you know which is within the context of you know being a big red cat um <laughs> not within all redefinitions but in within this one it was yeah, like yeah. you know this is just a goofy thing uh that other people were i think more supportive of it than i was um interesting be, because like even though i i knew that i had to do it like i also recognized that it was a strange experience like it was a strange thing to do and like i i have you know like when you're talking about the family stuff like i still am so careful about not like addressing being hot the cat with my family like in a certain way you know like it's just really silly uh yeah. but also like you know <laughs> this <laughs> um what is it about being hot the cat around your family that you don't want to like talk about necessarily like how do you think they would respond if they knew you were hot the cat i i don't know i think they just would think it, it was strange i mean i've done a lot of strange things so like maybe it's not too far out like i mean like i don't know like my parents are aware of it and stuff but like I don't really talk about it with the rest of my family just because they're a little more straightforward in life. Okay. Uh, yeah. That like, I just like, they would just, I don't, I don't even know. Like it just, those, those realms just don't seem like they would like, it just feels like kind of like oil and water, you know, like that they aren't necessarily can't, you know, like coincide at all, but yeah. they're just not going to like mix in a way that will stay together. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I um I fucking love everything you are saying right now. It's so good. So good. Um 
Yeah, I mean, because, yeah, I mean, that's like, um, especially like with parents, right? Or like, you know, I guess just like generally people who maybe we don't like operate on the same way, wavelength with like, it's, you know, yeah, what, what, what parts of yourself do you decide to reveal, right? You right, know, there's, right. there's, um, like for, for ease of your own life, like there, and, and, you know, like there's different degrees, right? Like for some things it's like, no, like I just have to, I am this person. I'm not like, you know, like I have to show these parts of me to everybody. And like for other people, I'm like, you know, I'd rather just not, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. like, yeah. I, you know, like we could, we could talk about, it. I could try and explain it, but like, seems, right. no, seems that, like a high bar to jump over. Like, that, I, yeah. That to me is the thing. Like it, it is, like i don't want to have to explain this like if you, like and that's the thing is like the friends that i was around when i did this like for the first time were just like oh that's cool like yeah like it that you just you know like picked a new name they, and started dressing differently and like all those people who were in right, it like right. were really accepting they, of it they, yeah they didn't ask the question of why are you doing that? And I feel like that is just a conversation that I, like, I don't want to have to explain this, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, yeah, this is something that is, if you get it, you get it. And if you don't, I'm not good. I just don't want to have to like, just try to like justify that this is a thing that exists you know yeah right right because because you can't it's the thing is like you right, can't really right. justify it you can try to fucking explain what it is to people and like hope that hope that they're willing to like try and understand but like if they're going to be dense you know like you can you can only take them so far in like the right. explanation if they're being right. like really like oh i just don't get it you just like oh, i don't know like you know, I, I don't know what to tell you because like, I can't right. prove, I, you can't prove it. Like it just, it just is. Um, yeah. and like, you just have to kind of, if like you're talking to other people about it, you just kind of have to hope that they would understand it. Um, right. Right. or like are well, willing to understand or figure, think more about it. Think about it. Think about well, it some more. I, the thing, I, I guess like how I'm thinking right now is like what, I think the best situation is for people to just not think about it. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like, that's that, no, that's like, yeah, like just, just to like be like, oh, you're in a cat suit. Like, okay, like, yeah, <laughs> like just to understand that, like, your personal, like, understanding of like reality and what the world is, like, can be expanded upon it's very very big there are 10 <laughs> billion ways to exist right. on this planet and like right like you don't you don't know them all all the time it's like yeah. you know it's like little kids are like uh, you know accept new things mm. so easily because they do it all the fucking time they're always like oh like that's some other thing i've never heard of like well I've, i haven't heard of a lot i learn new things every you know, day and like and i think one of the things too that is i guess the thought that's coming to my mind right now is that little kids are also like constantly defining themselves in new ways. Wow. Like, yeah, they are. Kids are like, I'm a fireman now. Like, and they are a fireman. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like you can't deny that they are a fireman. Even if you try to talk them out of it, like it doesn't do anything. They're because all in. They are all in. And in a little bit, they will be something else. Uh, and so it's, I, I feel like it's easy for kids to just kind of be like, oh, that's what you are? Like, that's who you are? Like, that's what you're doing? Great. Like, I was just a fireman. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, they get it. They get it. They're yeah. very open. They're very, like, you know, just accepting in that way. Like, they, 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 they're willing to see themselves differently. Right. And yeah. Mm, great. Okay. Uh, so I feel like, uh, you know, we've already gotten more than a half an hour into this stuff. Um, I feel like, so one of the ideas that I had with this, I, with Asteriously, uh, um, I know it's, 
we just kind of went off in a whole direction. And but I, I want to bring it back to this mysterious uh, idea because one of my goals for tonight um, is to define this word um, of what does it what is it to like be as seriously like do something as seriously uh what what does this mean um and i there's a few different directions that i think we could go with this um i i've done a little bit of like I mean, I've thought about this word quite a bit over the past uh, week or two. Um, so we can try to define this word now if we feel like there's some thoughts. But like, I think we can also get some practice on other words first that are uh, fake words. Okay. Um, try to define some other ones. Ones that um, this one I feel like uh, is a bigger deal and then we could get some practice doing some other words you know um and one of the ideas that i have about you know defining these words especially asteriously is the idea that as we are moving into new kind of ways of defining ourselves in our lives because i feel like we're always kind of doing that um and it's you know, especially like you, you have gone through a major redefinition in your life. And so what I, I really would like this definition to be able to do um, is to define a concept in your life that um, you don't have a good word for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A word. Uh, uh, yeah. Something that needs definition. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, that there's something that isn't being addressed by our current lexicon. If yes. You will. Uh, that asteriously could fit that, you know, asteriously could address this um, in some way. Uh, and so I, I'm, I'm just kind of interested. Um, I don't know, do you want to start with as seriously uh, and like kind of start start getting into it or do you want to try some other words uh, first? Let's try some other words first. Let's, let's okay. build up some some drama to as seriously. Great, great. Um, so I'm not a big fan of this one, um, but first one that came up um, <laughs> It's just the letters O V. Of. Of. Um Ov. Of. Ov. Of. Ov. Of. Of. Um. I I immediately get like chemistry vibes coming from this. Um chemistry okay. or science okay. vibes. It makes me think of an egg. I'm thinking of like um oh, it's it's yeah. it's got something to do with the formation of an egg. It's like a it's like a tiny molecule or part of it or like wow. some like yeah, some like fucking nucleus level like like yeah, like the egg of an egg sort of deal. So it's like it's sort of like the like inception of an egg, like that, like first, maybe like that first, like uh, that first thing that starts to define it being a new thing, like yeah. as an egg. Yeah, like, like this is like no longer just like um, amorphous gel. This is starting to to cohese into um, into a thing. Yeah into yeah. what will be an egg. Yeah. Wow. That got so good so fast. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> All right, let's do another one. That was great. Okay, okay. That was great. All right, let's see. Uh, generate a new, ooh, here we go. This one's interesting. Let's see, let's see what we do with this one.
All right. I, I'd like to hear you uh, pronounce it. Uh, Akirve. Oh, interesting, interesting. Akirve. My, my first instinct was a curvy, uh, but I think Akirve is much nicer. <sighs> Okay, it sounds it sounds French. It's got it's got a European lilt. Accurve. Yeah. Ooh. Um yeah, accurve. Well, like I get um um I'm uh to me it's it's like this this word um where you're you're collecting very fine things, right? Like um if like it's a word like for someone who collects like furniture or like silver, like this is a this is a spoon from the Ottoman Empire and it's been polished by this, you know, with this fine oil and da 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 da. da. Like if you're a collector of those things, like you don't just collect them because only only fucking the plebeians collect things. You act right, your way. Right. Yes, I'm going to act your way. You act some, your way things. Okay. Yeah, okay. some fine so it's china. A, <laughs> it's a verb. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a verb. It's a verb. You act your way. Wow. Okay. I, I was I was totally thinking of this as uh, I think maybe an adjective, uh, but I think verb. Yeah. You act your way something. I, I think this is great. Um, so like there there is a sort of high class quality to this like it yes. it's it's something that is like kind of very like bourgeoisie like something that distinguishes itself by kind of like a hoidiness uh yeah yeah, yeah, hoity, very, very hoity, very hoity, very like self serious, very like, you know, we're talking like fucking wine and paintings and, and, and yeah, furniture and rugs and um, old doorknobs, shit like that. Right. You know, for this one, I, I would like to get a, a, uh, a definition. So, like, this is, um, this is to collect, but so, but it isn't to collect. It's to acquire, uh, like a collection of things, um, but in a way, like it's status seeking, sort of, or like status affirming, I guess. To acquire a collection for the purpose of status affirmation. Okay. All right. There we go. Accurate. Great. Great. Look at oh, I love the um the the V in the parentheses. <laughs> very, very dictionary of you. Yeah, I I thought we should be professional about this. <laughs> It's very good. <laughs> um, great. Okay, let's uh, let's bring in another one. Okay. Oh, this one uh, I I think might uh, not be quite as simple. Okay. Um, okay. I I'm interested to see what what you think here. Um, but <laughs> interesting you know it's it's hard for me to read it and to not read it as refillable like refillable right right because right? it like it, sounds it's, it's really not it doesn't have that ending at all like it's not yeah. able or Ill right at all like it might be again like that re at the beginning could be it, something again but uh, yeah refillable so um i feel like at this moment i i would like to bring in another idea that i had okay. that could help us out okay um, uh so i um i found this website that does ai um 
uh, art based on words that you put into it. Okay. Um, so I, I did this earlier here. I'll, I'll share. Um, I did do this earlier with Asteriously. Um, and I wish that I had done this before I made that poster because this would have made such a killer poster. Oh, man. Uh, instead. Oh shit! <laughs> Amazing. Asteriously. Yeah, that's a really um, great definition. Yeah, isn't that cool? Uh, but what I'd like to do, uh, I would like to use our uh, um, do this with ref refillable. Um, yeah. Because I think it might help us kind of get an idea of where we're headed. Um, because I, I am at really a kind of a loss for this one. Yeah, me too. Yeah, let's um let's put it in the machine. Yeah. All right, let's create. Okay. So refillable. Okay. Oh, it's not loading. Okay. Right. Uh, do you want to do you want to do it as a square or do you want to do it wide? landscape um you have a, mm. a a thought there let's do it um let's go square let's let's go full square keep square square let's keep it square baby do you, want to, do you want to put in any numbers uh or do you want to keep these ones um, um they can affect it somehow sometimes they can affect the composition <laughs> yeah um okay um uh yeah yeah um let's let's um Let's put in uh, uh, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one. Six, two, five, one. Okay, great. Okay, so this will uh, this will take a little bit of time. Um, do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's starting. It's starting. I I have no idea what it's going to show us. Yeah, I'm really curious, especially after that last picture. I was like, oh, we got a little red is, in the corner. It's, it's like watching um, it's like watching a Polaroid. Come oh yeah, yeah. To life. It is. Maybe if I shake my computer. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Look at all this. Wow. What is going on here? 50%. It looks, it looks like something. Oh, wait, never mind. Now it's different. Um, I'm liking this too, though. Hmm. Wow. All right, that's it. That's it? That's, that's what we got out of that one. That's week. it. All right. <laughs> Um, All right. yeah, I'm getting like, I mean, like graffiti vibes, right? Like it's on right. like a brick wall. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. like kind of feeling it's also got like some, like it kind of like, I get like organic kind of like flavors too, you know, like it kind of looks like, um, like, like leaves or like lines in like a muscle sort of thing, like, like something like husky, right? Like I get like, like the husk, like, like, oh, yeah, husk yeah. Or like a corn husk kind of, okay. kind of deal. Okay. Um, yeah. You do, what are, what are of, you seeing? You know, uh, I mean, the graffiti is definitely something, but it, it kind of also has like this, like the, the lettering that's there. I mean, obviously doesn't really have real definition to it, but it's also like, it's really defined lines, but without like making a form that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but that, that kind of spherical shape in the middle uh, yeah. is really striking to me. Um, it kind of like bursts out while also being kind of part just like part of the like flat thing that's yeah. happening. 
Yeah, it like this image, like it's it like it's got like like there's like curvature to the whole image. It feels like a it feels like we're like a wall would meet the ground, but it's like curved instead of like a hard angle, you know, like like the like it continues. Um hmm. okay. So I feel like maybe we should kind of start getting into it. Yeah. What how does this inform this riff refillable? 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 Refillable. Maybe refillable um, is a word that's like describing the type of architecture that this is, like the way that these this like oh yeah yeah this this way that a thing you know it's like so would it be like it is a refillable or like refillable design like yeah um, you know I kind of like that and and where you know that it, it seems like it could be a word that like comes from. Um, I don't know, like I'm thinking like Dutch or something. Where, yeah. Where like there there's that similar some similarity to like the um like English. So like so ref, refillable architecture is kind of this uh way of designing where you have like a pattern going, um, and then within that pattern it kind of bulges out. Um, and like that's the distinctive feature of like kind of this uh, refillable architecture. Yeah, um, yeah, like lots of like kind of kind of like angles and shapes that like kind of look like they're they're going like depending on how you look at it, it looks like it goes like it's going like in or out. Like like right. the bolt is like it can be like concave or convex depending on like yeah how it's perceived. Great. Uh, here, let me. Let me start getting this down, because I think we're really onto something here. Yeah, I like this. Okay, uh, distinctive architectural style marked by. Uh, Designs that give the impression of concave or convex figures. How does that sound? I I'll, like it. I'll put it up so you can. Uh, there it is. Architectural style makes for the impression. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I really hope that um, uh, anybody watching this now, uh, please feel free to comment um, basically at any time, but also in the future. Um, if you know of any, uh, anywhere that you can like uh, link us in the comment section of our uh, archive page, um, where you know that there is a refillable architectural um, figure that you can yeah. find, I would love to see that. Yeah. Um, because, you know, as we're talking about this, this could definitely be a thing that exists. Yeah. Um, and now we have a word for it. Yes, yes. It reminds me of like those, like, I, yeah, I just like, like a drawn optical illusion, you know, like, like the, the, sh like impossible shapes and stuff like that, like finding ways to like build those and to, like make them, make them into things. Like it makes me think of that. Right, right. Great. Another Sweet. one, another one down. Yeah. Woo! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you want to go for a, another word um, uh, or uh, yeah or 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 I, let's see a word yeah okay I I also um, maybe oh man uh, here here's a doozy okay um, 
I, uh, I, I have a uh, song that I wrote for this episode as well. Um, okay. But and I'd love to play it for you if you're up for it. Um, but maybe I'll wait. Here. Maybe I'll wait until we've uh, circled back around a little bit. Okay. Um, here we go. Trauma theme. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I I don't want to I don't want to settle into this for sure, um, mm -hmm. but one of the first uh, ideas that comes to mind is that it's uh, straw mathing, uh, and what it is is uh, <clears throat> it's it's the act that you do in a in a competition, uh, which both involves. Uh, um, Mathematics, uh, okay. doing uh, difficult, you know, mathematical problems while you are also uh, lifting weights. So you're strong mathing, but it, it's kind of over time, it's come together to just strong a thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I could totally see that. Like, it's like, um, you're like, you're like fucking pumping iron. You're like <laughs> sine, cosine, tangent, uh, <laughs> like the, the the invisible. Like uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah. I only know math words. Like... I don't know how to string them together. But... <laughs> X <laughs> equals. <laughs> yeah, and and you. I mean, the the real goal I I feel in this is being able to come up with. Your the solution to the math problem at the same time that you get oh, that shit. over your head, like, oh my God. like that's like, that's the real goal. Like you get you kind of get like you get judged, you know, based on like the performance of them as together, while also taking in consideration the amount of weight and the difficulty of the problem. Like they need each other. They like yeah. <laughs> right. Right. They, 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 yeah, like one cannot go without the other. You need a difficult math problem to lift, like, um, a certain amount. What, or, or, yeah, yeah, I like it. Uh, I was now, thinking something. Go, uh, go ahead. One, one thought that comes to my mind is that, uh, there could be this trade off, uh, between difficulty of math problem, uh, where the weight is lower. Um, or you could go the other way so that, the weight is higher, but you get an easier math problem. Okay. Yeah. And then like, it's like, um, the whole thing comes down to like an accumulation of, and like averages. So it's like, if you're um, mm. getting like, you know, it's like, cause you know, any one, if you and me were stromathing or we're str stromathing, um, um, and like, let's say you got a lot of really hard math problems and I got a lot of like really heavy weights, like, they would like those things would be like considered in like your overall ability. Like, okay, like maybe like this person is better at the math thing and not, not at the weight thing. This person is better at the weight thing, but not at the math thing. And like, you know, it's kind of like right. it's a little bit luck at the draw. You want to be really good at both, but uh, well, you might only be good at one more than the other. Right. Right. But, but I feel like the key there is really being able to uh, get the control of getting to them at the same time like yeah that that's where i feel like it is kind of evens the playing field between people a little bit because those you're not as good at the math uh but you're working a lot harder to get it up uh but your problem is easier you know your your math problem is you know like just a, a simple like uh um just cross multiplying, some, cross multiplying. Long division, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like we're talking right. the um, <laughs> area of a triangle. I mean, come on. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And, I mean, and we're, we're talking just like, uh, you know, within like at most two decimal points. 
Um, yeah, yeah, we can't like okay, like we can have like a third, but it's only for rounding. Like we're not I, we're not doing right. four rounding to three. It's like the three, you know, the third one's just to inform the other ones. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Shh. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> now i i did say i didn't want to like totally go into that for sure um are okay. there any other ideas that you had or are you pretty satisfied with uh strong mathing has been come become a single word now uh, <laughs> <laughs> i think i think i think we can stay with that i really right, like okay. that <laughs> Uh, let me see if I can get a good definition <laughs> here. Uh, but it is a, uh, I believe it's, it is the gerund, uh, gerund, I don't know how to pronounce that word, um, where it's, it's the act of doing something. Um, like, like when, when you add the ing, I think it makes it like a, a gerund, I, I, I hope. But there's some, a word for. Yeah like doing a thing yeah like, like when you add an ing it's like the act of do it, it like makes a i think it makes like a noun into like a action okay that's like a verb i really like that there's a word for doing that yeah because it's I, it's such a it, thing um yeah, we do it. We do it all the time now. I I feel like especially like it, it's like a very like modern thing to do. Like to, like if I I don't know like if I were eating a carrot, I could be like carroting or like when you're on the internet, you're like internetting. <laughs> yeah, you know, people true. say that's shit true. like that all the time. That's you know, like that is interesting uh, because it's I I was thinking of, like because I I was just thinking of like kind of the general like type of word that is but yeah that is something that we do all the time now um i believe i have probably done it today at some point um just turned some some word into uh yeah guitaring uh, like, yeah like you no know, i mean you're supposed to like play guitar but like i i'm guitaring I'm you guitaring know? yeah Right. Yeah. 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 We do it all the time. Like it's like, you know, um, and it's like it's kind of this thing that like we do we do it like it's a little it's a little cheeky, right? It's a little like um <laughs> like self aware. Like it's like you know you're right. doing you're trying you're trying not to act like it's like serious. You know, it's always kind of a joke, but but like but we do it all the time, and it's like not a joke because we also use it as like a way to communicate effectively like right. it's not like it's not like like a joke a lot of times can be like leading away from like a goal in communication um or mm -hmm. like you know getting somewhere and like doing that thing while it's like meant as a joke is also like still pointing at like whatever it is you're talking about like it's still supposed to communicate something like as truth right right yeah 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 yeah, that's an that's an interesting point. I also I I like the way that doing that um, also it it's sort of uh, uh, what's the thought that's in my head it it makes things like possible in like language and like in conception kind of that we don't normally like form i guess formally uh is allowed to sort of like talk about or think in that way if that makes sense yeah yeah like it, it gives it gives like um well it's just like more words you know it's like that's like how language <laughs> changes is that like right. uh, like we you know like um like internetting, you know, that's like a very specific thing because like, I, you know, it, it's funny, like, like 20 years ago when people would talk about like surfing the web, like 
That's, you know, like such a fucking date. Like there's no way to sound like a dinosaur more than if you said something about like surfing the net, like, you, you don't know, what to do, but like, but like, what, do, what do you do on the internet? Like probably a bunch of different random ass shit from like Googling dumb things to like. Well, Googling is a great example that has become yeah. a real thing. Like that is something that people do that right. it used oh to God. be like, you would, you would go and like, search in search. google yeah like, and now we google things and right. that is totally fine you know oh my god uh, but you know when you said like surf the net one of the things that came to my mind is that i am pretty sure i have said or heard said uh that um where you know like you're interneting uh like which is just like you know, I think goes to the the cheekiness that you mentioned earlier, of like the huh, just like somebody would say that, and it doesn't matter whether or not it's real or not. You know what they mean, like, yeah. And it's effective, and it does kind of have that like, yeah, you know, like kind of fuck language sort of like. It doesn't really matter. Like, we just are being silly with it. You know, like, I yeah. am interneting, you know, like, yeah. You know, social media ing, like, even though that's pretty awkward, like, you know exactly what I mean when I say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's like, and that's the point of language is like that, you know, it is because right. like you're saying it is like kind of like throwing it in the face of like how you're like supposed to talk because like, well, it's just pointing to that stuff and saying like all the rigidity about how you're supposed to talk is like bullshit because like, <laughs> if it's not effective in communicating, then it's not doing its job. Like, that's why we right. talk to communicate. Like, that's why we have language to communicate. So like, <laughs> doing it in the most effective way possible is like how you do it and like if, if right. like because like you know like what are you doing on the internet and social media like lots of things like too many things to name but like when you say <laughs> well, when you say internet in your social media and i know you're talking about all of those things that like i can't even name that's that's actually really interesting because that gets to like the way that like our lives are so complicated now with new things that people understand in sort of a visceral way where they just do them and ex like experience them, especially on the internet. We're like bombarded by so much yeah. constantly that just to say like interneting captures it in a way that to describe any individual part of it wouldn't even get to. Like, yeah, like internet, like that. And I feel like the, the kind of like way that it uh, goes to like kind of that cheekiness to it, like also is a way of kind of being like, yeah, like the things that I'm doing there are kind of as random and against formality as, mm. as the, like the, using the word in that way um like that i'm interneting is like i'm maybe i'm looking up videos of like kittens being tickled like which is like that it's just silly dumb stuff <laughs> and it's a silly dumb word uh that even captures the essence of what is like being yeah done. well it's like because because you'll be like looking up si like silly cat videos and then like have another tab that's like the racist history of iceland and then like <laughs> over here is like a, some fucking sunglasses and a shopping cart that you've been meaning to buy for like three weeks and here's like a bill that you're supposed to pay and here's this right. fucking like email and like there's there's like all of these different things and like right right you know it's like we don't have you know, like the internet's so young, right? It's like, it's it, like what? We've been using it for like fucking 30 years, like, in, right. you know, in like the public. And like, it's like, you know, um, 
space 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 isn't the new frontier anymore it's it's the internet we don't have like we don't have like like uh we don't have like a, a nuanced lexicon for like describing all these things on the internet yeah. i bet in time we will when we've been using it for a long time and like people will start pointing to like very specific experiences of being right. on the internet and like right. distinguish it from other parts of it and then which like I mean, we'll have all these starting, birds. which is starting to happen i think um i think there is starting to be experiences that are at least like I know I'm thinking of like things in like the social media realm that uh, are starting to have specific terms and stuff or uh, especially specific abbreviations and stuff that are universal sort of. Um, there are things, I mean, I mean, earlier I was thinking of like <laughs> lulls is such a great like cat it, it captures something really well that yeah it, i mean it, it's an experience not limited to the internet but right. also uh works on the internet very well um, yeah but people say it in real life like they'll yeah, say <laughs> lulls when they're trying right. to like talk about but they don't just say it any time like it's not like if, if it's it has to be funny in a certain way it's like it's almost like this it's a little sarcastic it's like it's a little disparaging like you use normally use lulls if you're like laughing like kind of like about something like as in like oh like it's maybe like a little pathetic like or maybe not pathetic but like it's definitely like kind of like a disparaging term um or yeah or at least sarcastic or, yeah I, it, again i mean like here we are explaining something like I think this gets back to our uh, earlier conversation a little bit where uh, to try to explain this uh, is already too much to do. Um, like if you don't get what lulls means, you can't yeah. really describe it. Uh, <laughs> but like, yeah, like there's like a sarcasm, but also it's like that's funny in like sort of this like intellectual way uh but not yeah. actually funny enough to like heartily <laughs> laugh at yeah like like it didn't make me laugh but i see the humor in it right 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 yeah but like i'm not like <laughs> like <laughs> it just happened lol 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 <laughs> right uh great Amazing. Um, Amazing. I, I am trying to think, because I know that there are starting to be things on the internet. Oh, catfishing. That's an interesting one. Yeah. Uh, that's like an interesting internet thing. I'm sure people used to do that before, but that is a very internet thing now. Um, it's like so much easier now. Oh, it's like, it's it's not, I feel like, well, okay, like to, to catfish someone before, like, I don't even know what forums you would do it on, like some, like kind of like, I don't know, dating I mean, phone system or some shit, but like, right. yeah, like yeah. now. Maybe like personal like, ads or something. Yeah, like, yeah. which I guess it wouldn't be hard, but it's like, it's really fucking easy to catfish somebody right now. Right. And like a personal ad, you put it out there, someone still has to call you, but like right, on the internet, right. it's just so much easier to like start, talking to a person right like you can talk to or at least send a message to or at least try to talk to anybody you want to and like it didn't right. used to be like that like right you put in like a personal ad like in the maybe. newspaper i guess <laughs> yeah you put it in the newspaper maybe, <laughs> have some, maybe have someone send a letter to a p.o box and so you're like <laughs> sending letters that is a long con <laughs> yeah yeah seriously seriously like where to where you have to be like a really, really fucking dedicated con person to like right. to do some shit like that. Like it's a lot of work to keep up with con, you know. Like, right. but like you know, thanks to the internet, conning is made accessible to everyone. <laughs> like <laughs> to Every, the layman, <laughs> everything is made accessible, including conning people. Thank God for the internet. <laughs> it it really is such a. Uh, uh, democratic thing uh, it, is. It, it really just it brings you know anybody can just get a webcam and start a live streaming show uh 
<laughs> where they dress <laughs> up like a cat. But anyone can do that. Anyone can do that. You did it. Here you are today, a walking example, a cat on television. You have come here as a guest <laughs> on this show in space. Like oh my anybody, God. anybody can just come on a TV show on the internet and, and be in space. Like Anyone can be a cat and go to space. And that is what is the internet. And that's the internet. That's what the internet's for. That, that is the the essence of the internet here. Like, <laughs> Being a cat and going to space. Like fucking 90% of the things that I see on the internet are about being a cat going to space or being a cat <laughs> in space. That's all it is. That's like everywhere you look. <laughs> yeah. I I have not pulled yeah. up a website in I don't even know how long without seeing something about someone being a cat in space. Uh, and here we are, hot, you and me, fucking the, the yin and yang of the internet, the fire <laughs> and ice. <laughs> this is you know, it. Th this, uh, this does bring up an interesting question that I, I would like to address with you. Um, you know, I, I am a cat. Um, it's yes. right there in my name. Uh, mm -hmm. I am hot to cat. That's um, right there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. There you go. <laughs> uh, um, what animal would you say you are? This is this is something that we like. I like to do on the hot show. You know, I I like to find out. You know, uh, mm. what animal are you? You know. Yeah, that's yeah. a great question. Um, yeah, you know. I guess I guess my my um my animal vibe changes from time to time. Yeah, no, this um, is I, I, right now. Right yeah, now, yeah. please, I, please. Right now, I right now I feel like a bird. I feel like a bird, bird hot the cat. Yeah, I feel like a bird. You do kind of have wings, just kind of like I do. <laughs> still up here treading. Yeah, <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, let me tell you, these wings are not getting tired. They were born to fly. Yeah, it it kind of seems like flapping. Uh, less, a little less treading, a little bit more flapping. Yeah, uh, yeah, like it's like kind of like hummingbird status, you know. Yeah, They're yeah. like like buzzing pretty quick, you know. Yeah. Like, would would you say uh, you're you're thinking hummingbird, um, or uh, are you thinking a different kind of bird? Because there's so many different kinds of birds. There are. That's true. I I you know I most of the time I think of um I think of like a parrot like bird um. Okay, you know, okay. uh, yeah, like kind of like curved beak, um, like kind of like mm -hmm. curved head, uh, kind of like you know, perma smile, right? Kind of got that like, like, <laughs> kind of like look going on, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah colorful, great. um, mm -hmm. yeah, great, great. Dana, we don't often get a lot of uh, a lot of birds. Um, no, what, what have you gotten before? What, what have other guests been? Uh, you know, we've had a we've had a few chipmunks, um, oh. Garbanzo, who's a regular here, um, uh, is a um, a raccoon um, mm -hmm. who is sometimes an owl. Okay, um, I like that. Uh, we have a human that uh, is a regular, um, mm -hmm. uh, and let's see. Um, so sometimes people are dogs. Um, we had uh, recently we had an owl, um, another owl. That was that was kind of nice. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, we had we had some sort of sea creature not that long ago. That was kind of nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, we don't get a lot of sea creatures. Yeah. Uh, um. It does seem like that you get you get a pretty um like broad range of of animals yeah, to come yeah. on your show. Yeah, the the um the uh, animal that usually makes our posters uh, or has done the most recently uh, is a puma. Oh uh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's cool that you know a puma. Yeah, 
I've, nice I've been a couple cougars, but I've never been a puma. <laughs> 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 you nailed that. Thank you. <laughs> um, cool. Well, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to like, uh, you know, get too much of your uh, time taken up. You know, I, I, of course, you're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. Um, but I, I guess I'm just wondering if we should, uh, you know, if you're, if you're feeling like we, we should get to checking out what maybe asteriously means, or uh, if, if you feel like maybe we need to try a few other words first, you know, just pop through a few real quick um, or something to just kind of get, get back in the flow before we hit mysteriously. Okay. Um, let's do, let's do a couple more. Let's do a okay. couple more and then we'll get back to mysteriously and then okay. we'll, 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 we'll fucking take it on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's see. Ooh. Uh, this, I feel like, while not a formal word, I think that this one uh, is maybe in the lexicon already. Um, okay. <laughs> totally. <laughs> That's there. <laughs> that is a word. <laughs> or it's a modifier. It's right. Like it, it's a modifier. <laughs> it's a modifier. You're right. <laughs> I, I, I feel like to... <laughs> To even like really uh, um, like try to define it too much, it would be difficult um, because it really is like it's a modifier that can that is used in a specific way that I feel like most people just know. If if yeah. you don't know and you're watching this, um, go find out. <laughs> like I'm sure you can. <laughs> you can. It'll be easy. Just yeah. Just you know, just look up Snoop Dogg and you'll find it pretty quick. Um, <laughs> do you know why? Do you know why Snoop Dogg carries an umbrella? No. For drizzle. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. <clears throat> Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me grab another one. Oh, this is another uh, short one. I'm kind of surprised these short ones are in here, but uh, we'll we'll try it. We'll try it. Okay. Err. Err. Um. Err. Or is it your? I mean, there's some internet right there. Uh, some text language. Yeah. Uh, you know, another one that's kind of already uh, within um, the lexicon. Yeah, yeah. It's not, you know, like I can't, I can't, I, like, I can't work with this. I, you know, yeah. What, are, what, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get another one. Let's get another one in here. Okay, here we go. Okay. This is, I think this is more our style here. Okay. Uh, this is something I think we can work with. <clears throat> Assertable. Oh, I love it. I, I fucking love it. I feel like I've seen it before. Yeah, right. But I, I, I don't know if I have. I don't know yeah. if I've, I've seen assertable before. Like that. It, it's really close to, um, like, assertable. Like you would assert something. Um, yeah. But it's, it's got those C's instead of those S's. Mm -hmm. um, it makes. Or go ahead. No, go ahead. I, I was gonna say it make. It feels like it's like um, if you if if something can be proven true or false. Like not all things can, right? But some things can. Some things you can know if it's true or not. And like if it is able to be decided as true or false then it's assertable. It's like assertability is like a quality of something. Like Right, right. And though I would say uh, that I, I don't know if I 
like because that that is sort of in some ways i i guess like assertable with s's would be sort of like that it could be asserted that it is or is yeah not okay okay uh, which seems very similar that the C E R T to me uh, reminds me of like certification or right. something. So to me, like it's not just that you could, uh, how did you put it? Put like say that it's true or false. Yeah. If uh, so, if it, yeah, yeah, like if it can be seen as true or false like because like not everything can you know some things are like right, you know right. objective or whatever um, what, what i i would like to add or subjective i i would Go like ahead. To add to that it, that it is something that you could get a document on whether or not it was or was not or is true or false like okay yeah so like this... there's like the certification kind of like comes in where it's like it you are able to get a document about this thing yeah 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 it's a it's a it's a legal word that belongs in in government in the workings of the world like um like for like this is um so i got uh when i was a lifeguard <laughs> Sorry, just like all the thoughts. Sorry, I'm like, how do I tell the story? I was a lifeguard a long time ago. It was like my my first or second job, and I had to get a certification to be a lifeguard. And like certification is this like whenever I hear that word, I immediately think of lifeguard. Mm -hmm. got like cemented in my brain, like my little sixteen year old brain. Um, so like yeah those two words like synonymous with me so like when when you said like you get a document like that my that my um qualifications as a lifeguard were assertable right. i could get a little piece of paper that said i am jan the lifeguard right. i can right. swim i can save lives i can fucking tell you when to get in, in and out of the pool right. um it's assertable yeah yeah now, now would you say i i like that you you said that your your qualifications as a lifeguard were assertable and not just that you were assertable like that no it, no. it, it was yeah it's the qualification i okay that's great i think i think we did hit that one yeah they that. need this word like it'll, yeah. it's gonna make shit run a lot more smooth yeah. if, once once right. people start using this one yeah get mm -hmm. it out there everyone get it out missing peas tell your tell your fucking <laughs> <laughs> employers and call your congressman <laughs> and tell them to use it <laughs> yeah if anyone's a lawyer please start putting it in your legal document in your briefs <laughs> yeah put it in your briefs put it in your you briefs know, I, to, to, to bring in some uh some previous uh words that we've gotten here yeah i, I want to say that um if I can remember how to pronounce this word, <laughs> accurate. Uh, yeah. Someone, someone who that would be accurate would want to get things that were maybe assertable. Uh, yes. Because they they want the status of being able to say like, I have this document. This is a true like, uh, like spoon from <laughs> from. The from the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> this is a true spoon. <laughs> yeah, 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 they would though. Right. They would they would yeah, yeah. They want they, an they would only, spoon. Yeah, it's an this this fucking time time life honored commemorated assertable spoon with uh, yeah, yeah. It's um it, it's the real deal. It's legit. Right, right. Yeah. You know, I I have to say, what I think has been missing in our previous definitions, which have been great, is that we haven't used them in a sentence yet. Oh my God. Yeah, just, that's key. That's key. To, so for people who see this in the future and want to use these words, to make sure that they're using them right. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Like, I mean, 
gosh, I, yeah, yeah, we gotta, we gotta, <laughs> we have to do the whole job. Like they even do that in the dictionary. Like right. if we've got the little letters that tell you like what kind of the, the little letters that tell you um kind of uh, <laughs> word it is, then we need to fucking go all the way. Like, right. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I did feel like we got it with a certable though. Um, I, yeah. I feel like we got the definition out there it's um, in there yeah and we've we used got, it we used we've, it in it's been sentence. road tested yeah yeah great um maybe maybe we'll get a uh at least one more oh i i think this one is going to be great too uh i'm in, very excited to hear what you uh, think about this one okay upling that's a fun word i like that I, word i think this one has definitely has some legs I think that this one could catch on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Within popular culture, I mean, assertable uh, could definitely make it within legal documentation or, like you said, uh, political documentation and stuff, um, as well as, you know, accurate within cir circles could definitely yeah. work. Sure, Up sure. Coupling, yeah. I, I think, has potential. Uh, just by the sound of it alone uh, to make it into popular use. Upling um, feels like a word used to describe children who are like, um, like I'm going to say between like eight and like 10, maybe, maybe seven and 10, right? Small children who are getting bigger. Like they're not like, so small anymore like you know they're not like five right but they're not yeah. like preteens either you know they're not 10 they're like they're like uplings you know um yeah, yeah. maybe maybe yeah like like high energy kind of smart um precocious children like uplings yeah like um yeah like that that's the vibe yeah. i'm getting yeah so i think that this upling upling has i think the potential to go uh to have multiple uses um, that oh. one could be this, uh, this definition that you have just said that it is uh, a, a kind of like a state of somebody who is growing up uh, that at some point they are an upling. Um, yes. But I also think that it could be uppling. Um, where it's, you know, like, where it's kind of like, uh, you know, another word that people have just kind of uh, invented, uh, like we were talking earlier, coupling. Um, yeah. You know, like, this is uppling. So, uh, like, I I'm thinking maybe, like, you know, where you're moving up on in the world. Like, that you... <laughs> You you're uppling, you know. Yeah, it, it's it's kind of like, uh, you know, like there's also like kind of like, uh, as I said at the last time, I thought like kind of like this up leveling, you know, like you're something's happening where you're you're, you're just you're, kind you're of fucking it. making moves like you're yeah you yeah. just did the thing like you're and you're gonna do the next thing and you're gonna do the next thing that like you're you're fucking track to to keep going and to living the life that you want to live for yourself is is like that's um that's like that you're you're upling yeah you're you're I'm fucking getting it. You're, you're you're fucking you're hot ow, ow, who's hot yeah that's yeah baby upling i'm upling yeah yeah <laughs> please anyone start using these words if you Put see it, get this, them out there get, get them, them out, out there. there next time you fucking do something that like you're like man that was some badass shit i just did like i'm 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 yeah just say I'm say you're uplink. uplink just say you're uplink to see, people and this just, is kind of fun because uh uh we could have an uplink who is uplink um, yeah 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 you could you could like and and they do you know like uh they do they do they do they they fucking do it all the time <laughs> yeah <clears throat> though i i feel like they're when when uplings upple uh they 
it, it isn't quite with the same gravity as somebody who's kind of like been living a life and they're having a tough time. Like they're kind of down in the dumps and they start uppling. They're uh, getting their shit together. They, they're getting their shit together. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there are some uplings out there that that are really uppling. But I yeah. think that... But, like, yeah. I mean, they're still, like, little kids. They're right, living at right. home, you know? Right. Like, they... Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not the same as, like, you know... It's not the same as, like, you're done fucking, like... Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're done. You're done living that life. You're done getting drunk on your friend's couch and passing out with a pizza box that you use for a blanket. You're not doing that anymore. Like right. you're you're fucking um, getting out of debt. You are. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, you're, um, you're. It's like not only like taking responsibility for your life, but really like improving the station of your life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Through your action, which I mean understand like it is a tough world out there for a lot of people mm -hmm. and i don't want to say that this is like something that's easy like no way no way but you know it is something that if you if you've got the like if you're in that groove like i think it's good to have a word that just captures it it makes you feel good uh, yeah. To say it like yeah, I don't know. It's a fun word to say. It is a fun word to say. You're like yeah, it's like you know you're like a little like proud. You're happy for yourself. There's nothing wrong for like fucking finally doing the shit that you've been wanting to do and to feel yeah. like you're 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 on track. Like that feels good. That's a good feeling. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's nice to have a word yeah. to yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Mm. Great. Yeah, I'm glad that we got one that had two meanings. Uh, it, I wasn't, uh, I didn't expect that, but this one really uh, got it for me. Um, I'm considering writing that one down, but I, I, I also, I don't want to like lose the, the uh, kind of rhythm that we're getting for, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to take us out of it because it'll take a little while to write those out. Um, okay. So yeah, yeah let's just, do you want to do another get, one? So I can or, get the next one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's get another right. one. Okay. <laughs> what is it? All right. Let's. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Poke abroad. But broad. Broad, poke broad, <laughs> yeah. Broad. This is a very Scandinavian word, like country of origin: Norway, Finland, Sweden. Poke broad, poke broad, poke broad, poke broad, poke broad, poke broad. I, this is one <laughs> that I have to say, I, I might have to see the AI uh, make a version of this. Okay, um, I'm into that. I'm into because that. Because I, I, I don't, I, I think you're right about the, the country of origin, but I don't know if um, uh I can get a definition out of this. Uh, <laughs> what I've got is like, is like this is um, a poker board. <laughs> poker board is an object. Um, it's an object that hangs on. It's like made of wood, and it 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 hangs on the wall of like older people's houses, like people who are like you know like eighty plus, like and you have no fucking idea what it's for. You've seen it your whole life. <laughs> like you've seen it since you were a little kid and you didn't know what it was then. And you still don't know what it is. And you just think everyone else knows what it is, but really no one knows what it is. Yeah. It's just some wow. shit from the old world. <laughs> that is great. Uh, you want to throw in some numbers? Um. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Um, let's go. Uh, uh, I don't want to throw any numbers. You throw some numbers. No, I'll just I'll I'll, I'll leave it how it is then. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's uh, create this. Let's check out what the pro poker board. What an AI thinks a poker board is. Uh, yes. Because I think you you did capture uh, probably what it is. Um, I want to see too. I want to see. I want to see a rendering. Um, what else it could be? I mean, I, that'd be because, really great if it drew something really old <laughs> man. Of what. I because like I can think of my grandparents' uh, plays. Yeah. Um, Less so on the one side, but on the other side, I think that I kind of understand exactly what you're talking about. Like something that was just hanging on a wall uh, in <laughs> uh, um, uh, in my grandparents' house. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, oh my so, god! No, it's not quite done. Oh, there we go. This there we go. Looks it's done. <laughs> it's done. Yeah. That looks, is disgusting. <laughs> this this looks like maybe I shouldn't be showing it on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like flesh. Yeah, it definitely has some uh, weird fleshy stuff. Also, some kind of like Pokemon-y stuff. That's, yeah, I see that too. I was like, is this AI just like... But look at that. Like a weird... Look at that nice like cobblestone little path. Uh, yeah, what the fuck is that? It, you just know, like, as it, as God, it was... Just like melting monster on... As it was starting to form... Uh, an idea kind of came, which was like, uh, you know, you're talking about like this thing that hangs on the wall that nobody knows what it's called, like what it's for, um, even though, but nobody ever like addresses that they don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, and as I was watching it, it started to kind of form this like this shape that ended up looking more fleshy than it started as. Um, <laughs> but I was thinking of like, like it could also maybe be something that is like a landscape feature that serves that same function, like mm. where it's like this landscape feature that you don't know like what it is. Uh, and it kind of looks a little weird, but you, you know, like, Nobody talks about it. It's just like, oh yeah, that's the Pokebrard. You know? Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, we you know, I don't know what it is. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like the world is full of things like that. That just like seem like they've always been there and that like but are just like weird or old or like or like you, at, at one point served a function and like meant something but now doesn't anymore but they're still kind of like part of our like you know just like the material world that we live in because like right. it hasn't been that right. long yeah and i i feel like this it, it poker board really like it, it could work for anything like it, it's not just landscape features it's not just a wooden thing on the wall of your grandparents house uh it, it's kind of anything in this world that is kind of an oddity that you don't quite understand and nobody else seems to understand it either, but you just kind of accept it as it is and you just kind of, it's just like, oh, okay, well, you know. It's still here. It's still it, like, yeah, it's still part, I, of, I have, part of the world. That we, yeah, right, I, right. I have a word for it. I have a word for it, but like, I don't I don't know what it is. Pokeboard. Like, that's what this is. Like, I don't know what we are looking at, uh, but it's a poker board, you know? It's Yeah, it's a poker board. Like, yeah. yeah, like, there's other words, like, like, falls into the category of, like, like, knickknacks and, um, like, oh, God, what's the fucking Chachkis? word? 
tchotchkes yeah like we're 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 in like this this territory but like i i feel like there there's a quality to the pokeboard that like tchotchkes like uh we we've talked a little bit about tchotchkes on the hot show before um and like there there is a quality to that and like knickknacks too that is like um things that you kind of uh you know where they come from they just yeah. don't really have a use but i think the the defining feature of the poker board is <laughs> is that you don't know what it could possibly be used for yeah <laughs> Like, you don't know where it came from or where it came from <laughs> it's just old <laughs> right yeah there there is kind of an old quality to it uh it, it seems to have existed uh for just about as long as anyone can remember yeah like it definitely used to get used like <laughs> right. like it, it used to be like a staple in fucking home life like you had your you had your your spinning wheel. You had like a fire poker. Um, you had like a fucking butter churner, and you had your poker board. And like right. that's that's right. how you made it in old right. times. Right. Well, and like you know, you know, you you have like you know, uh, you have a forest, like you know, and there's like maybe like a big rock or something, you know, and you know, there's like maybe a a, a village somewhere. Um, and then a little ways off, there's a poker board um, that seems like maybe in the past it was used for something, um, but nobody can seem to remember what it was. Uh, yeah, what it could have been used for. Yeah, yeah, and and um, people keep telling you to go ask someone else. They're like, <laughs> you know, right? Yeah, go. Go ask your or like you're like your Spanish aunt. village and like you like you're like hey tour guide um what is this poker board for and he's like he's like oh you know I don't know um, why don't you go ask the uh you know go ask the old woman who lives in the home over there she'll tell you and and then you go ask the old woman and she's like you know I can't seem to remember why don't you go ask the woman who lives down the street what the poker board is I think she has one maybe she still uses it and then you go talk to her <laughs> and she says I haven't used a poker board in thirty four years why don't you go ask the town well, mill and he'll tell you I don't really know what. Uh... I, you know, I'm having trouble remembering. What did I even use that thing for? I know I did. I, I used to use it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, we do have another uh, a person that showed up. Um, okay. I think I'm going to uh, bring him in. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Hey, Max. Hi. How's Hi, it going? Max. I'm fine. Well, you're. Uh, very boomy. Uh, what? Your voice seems a little boomy tonight. Hmm, that's weird. Yeah. It is weird. Uh, Max, Jan, Jan, Max. Hi, Jan. Nice to meet you. You too. You too. Uh, also, I seem to be hearing uh, a little bit of echo uh, happening on your end, I think, Max, because it wasn't here before you arrived. Is it bearable? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, I can only be here for 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes. Wow. For 10 uh, minutes. Well, uh, do you want to do another word, uh, Jan? You know, maybe yeah. we can get some yeah. input from Max here. Um, yeah. We've been uh, defining some uh, words here. Um, we were just finishing up. You probably saw us. Uh, um, Defining Pokebroard. Yes, I did. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, this time we've got. Uh, does anyone uh, want to give a crack on how to pronounce this? Proust. Ooh. Proust. That's what I got too. Proust. Proust. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh, I. I'm. If either of you have ideas that are jumping to mind, I'd love to hear them. But something did come to my mind. Um, okay, so what you're you just got? Making up definitions? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, what I've got is uh, it's a it's a kind of uh, paste that you make with prunes. 
Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> like it's a Proust. Yeah. Or not uh, a Proust. It is Proust. It is Proust. Right. Right. Or uh, or you or I guess you could make a Proust. Like it would be like the instructions. Lines. Yeah. Like like I feel like if you're if you're getting a birdhouse, like you buy like a birdhouse kit. And in like it's like to make a birdhouse in like the old way, like before hammers and nails and stuff. And they're like, um, it's like step one, like make a proust. Like they send you like a bunch of like dried prunes and shit. Mm. Um, and they're like, mix the mix the dried prunes with the water to make a proust. This is what fucking like the, uh, the Amish used to glue birdhouses together mm. before wooden nails. Oh, interesting. So oh. It, it has like a quality of uh, stickiness to it. Yeah, uh, it's like yeah. adhesive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. I wonder. Uh, I wonder how effective that would be. Uh, as adhesive. I'm gonna guess not very. I mean, maybe maybe you mix in other things though. Uh, like okay. glue. <laughs> it's <laughs> glue mixed with prunes, oh kind of dried out a little bit. <laughs> I can hold anything together. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, um, right. I had uh, I had it made me think of um, also yeah an old word but like it's more like like a word that like um they would use like when they're fucking like um like writing old documents you know like uh like uh or, or like like Charles Dickens time you know mm -hmm. when they're trying to describe like a quality like with great proust and agitation the da 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 da, da or like with great proust <laughs> and and <laughs> yeah with the rightness of proust like it's a very like noble and dignified and grand word to talk about how oh, great yeah. we are and how great things are yeah yeah now what yeah what what does it mean within that context i i, I do think that the context that you find it in is pretty good. I I definitely can see that. Um, it's so it's it's like denoting like a greatness. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, it exactly. works. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. Want to try another one? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Rip. Where are these words coming from? Uh, I found a fake uh, word generator. Mm. This one, uh, <laughs> this I think is the biggest doozy we've had uh, in terms of just about Woo! every quality about it. <laughs> That's a word. E disserolon. A good pronunciation. E disserolon. <laughs> That's like uh, not Lowing. an English word. Disserolon. Disserolowing. 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 A disserolowing. This is like a Gaelic word. Yeah, that's like, what I was thinking. It's like it a Gaelic word English. that's actually pronounced like, I don't know, I feel like Gael the way Gaelic words are spelled, the pronunciation is always like wildly different, but I would guess. Right, like, right. If I wish that I was able to bullshit that sort of uh like like the w-y-n-e is like pronounced like with an r sound mm. it's like a <laughs> disrupt r and you're like what <laughs> like okay like, well and i feel like the the e-a-d it is like a completely different sound like yeah like a wad or something like mm. what this or what this or <laughs> like it's like it'd be like like an r with an h at the end right because you already have the r so like it's not it, we, it can't just be er it's like r right, <laughs> like, right, r, right. like getting into like pirate pirate <laughs> territory what this or <laughs> 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 fooled me like <laughs> now I, I i don't know if i know enough really about like gaelic culture to uh really guess it like the use of uh this uh 
word. Like this, this one is uh, kind of in some ways uh, defeating my ability to come up with a definition. Uh, yeah, I, I have no I idea know. what to do with this. I don't um, know. I, here, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in um, our uh, handy dandy uh, weird uh, crazy thing. Um, what? Uh, you probably saw on that we uh, have been. Um, let me just get rid of that. Okay. Uh, we're, we're putting some of these words uh, to help us out into an AI uh, image generator um, mm. to uh, help us figure out um, what's going on. Interesting. Oh, is that what that picture was? I wondered. Yeah, mm -hmm. that one got real weird. That one got, yeah, that was strange. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so we got. I'm going to go get my computer charger real quick because it's okay. about to die. Um, so it's just a pink picture. Uh, it, it is only 25% done. Here's some of oh, the... It takes a while. Yeah, it does. Uh, here's refillable. Um, it, that one really helped us. That image really helped us a lot. Um, and uh, here's Asteriously, which I, I love this image. The Asteriously image. Let's yeah, that one. works for it. Um, Oh, look at that. Oh, that plaster. Not what I, I was expecting at all. Me uh, either. Really interesting. Uh, yeah, it's like, it looks like, like part of a wall or like food or <laughs> like some kind of weird growth. Or like... A, I, I was also thinking like kind of like a, a weird sort of like uh, formation on rock. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's a geology word. But like something only found uh, in like uh, Ireland and. Yes. Yes. Like in one specific area, but it's like found enough that. There was a word that they, that they named they it. Yeah. And like it can't exist by itself. It has to be growing on a rock. Right. <laughs> it's just like you won't find one, Leah, just like detached. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's like it's growing on broken plaster in a house. I don't know. But like a drywall or something like that. It does have that quality. Very weird. Uh, do either of you want to give another uh, shot at pronouncing this? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the honesty there. A lar is what I'm going with. Great. That, uh, That's good. Okay, so we did uh, get another uh, uh, person hanging out here. Um, oh, hi. Garbanzo, hi. welcome. How's it going? Hello. I have a word that I want to submit. I, I know. I saw it, actually. Okay, good. Um, I, I already brought it up. I wanted to bring in Garbanzo to help us out on this one. What's going on in the show so far? I'm sorry. I was busy all. Oh, it's fine. Uh, we, are, we have been uh, defining some words here. I'll bring up one of the earlier ones to kind of get an idea of what we've been doing um, here. Here's uh, oh, There we go. So uh, we've been getting words from a fake word generator, and we've been giving them definitions. What's uh, a fake word generator? Uh, it generates fake words. <laughs> like how? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how. Great do question. <laughs> uh, I'll go so, with it. <laughs> so we have uh, this word here, which was uh, uh, to accurate something. Or to accurate things. Um, accurate. Accurate? 
which is to acquire a collection for the purpose of status affirmation. Um, so it's a, it's a very like kind of bourgeois sort of thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> to you can only activate nice things, like very nice <laughs> things. Like, yeah. Like silver tea sets and things like that. Yes, only the finest uh, silverware. Yes, yeah. precisely. Yeah. Uh, and here's another one that we, we also wrote down the definition of. Refill. Uh, mm, that's good. Ah. Yeah, so uh, if you ever come across this uh, in the world, now you know that you can call it... Uh, it's it's a refillable style. Uh, <laughs> it's refillable architecture. Yeah. It seems like something that would fall down, and then it, you could rebuild it, and then it would fall down again. Like it just <laughs> it's really refillable. <laughs> so uh, existential I, architecture. <laughs> it just keeps <laughs> collapsing. You can rebuild it again, and then fall down. Too again. Much. You can't it take again. it. <laughs> All right, so we, we got a, a new word. Draption. Draptionism. Whoa. The ism really is a, adds a new, new interesting quality to it. Yeah, we haven't had an ism before. So, like breaking it yeah, down so, like drapes? Does it have to do with really caring about drapes? It was like it was a oh. movement. It was a drapery movement. It was the movement. It was the movement that encouraged drapes in yes. the war, like before drapeianism. Like people didn't put shit on their windows. They're just fucking <laughs> light going yep. in wantonly, like through. And everyone's oh. like, even if they didn't want it, it, like it didn't matter if it was the middle of the day. Like, sorry, your house is well, getting lit. I I mean, um, I think or it's fucking important. people can see in at night. Like no one, no one. Wants I, that. I think it is Ooh, important. It to make a distinction, but before that, people would just use blankets or sheets, and here, <laughs> whatever the hell they had, and and there had to be a, a shift being made to drink. Uh, yeah, and it was it was controversial too, and that's why they right. named it because like because like a lot of people were like, "What? That's so excessive! Why do we need to waste fabric to make cloth just for the windows? Like these blankets and sheets." We've been doing this for millennia, and and then, but the drapeianists, um, no, they want they were pushing society forward. They said we need these things. That way, we have our blankets for for fucking blankets. Like, you know, come on, so a fold into it so that you could put a curtain rod through. <laughs> you know, gonna... you are all sounding a lot like drapeianists right now. Uh... Hot. I have a confession to make. <laughs> I am a drapeianist. <laughs> I, don't have I always have been. I was pretending I've, to be a drapeianist. I was. Uh, <laughs> you were just pretending. Yeah, I, I thought I would be cooler if I was a drapeianist. Um, I I did uh, just for the fun of it toss this one into our. Uh, um, Image maker, uh, you know. An image maker too. <laughs> yeah. So to get to get some help on uh, um, some of these words. That's a nice image. Yeah, like this that. one is really nice. It looks uh, feathery. It's it does look um, feathery. It looks like it would be make a good drape. That yeah. Be beautiful, beautiful drape. I'd love that hanging in my home. That would be a nice drape. In my pattern. spaceship. Uh, I could see the hotel. Or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like Las Vegas hotel. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Like, like this is still like very, very controlled. But, but you're having fun. But like, <laughs> but this is crazy, Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> like let loose at an office party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, how does this just randomly generate images? What's happening? Artificial intelligence. Well, okay. I have to go now. Uh, is there anything that you would like to uh, um, promote? 
real quick before you go? Yeah, probably. Well, <laughs> well, listen to my music. MaxOakland.com. Yeah. Check it out. Great domain name. <laughs> yeah. I think I still have it as a thing, probably. Well, I have this one. This isn't your music, but it's something else that you <laughs> have promoted. Some of my games on that website are for sale right now. Cool. Cool. They're great games. Well, thanks for coming, Max, even though you only could come for a few minutes. Yeah, it was good to see you, yeah. Max. You too. Bye. See nice you. to meet you, Jamie. You too. Bye. See you next time. You. Uh, all right. Cool. All uh, right. Now, uh, I, I feel like uh, I don't know how much longer you want to hang out, Jan. Uh, you seem to not be in a big rush. Uh, I, I was going to say maybe we could shift towards, uh, you know, the big goal of tonight. But uh, I feel like Garbanzo just got here. Garbanzo's not in the, in the loop like in the flow of it like we are. So maybe we yeah. should do a few more words. Uh, okay, okay. I, I don't have I don't yeah. have too much longer. Um okay. okay. Let's let's Can't do, do a full one today. I got let, Let's do Yeah, we, we we won't go too long. I I, I just want to throw a few more words out there just so you can get in the mix with it too uh okay. Gonzo. Um, lightning round. Yeah, lightning <laughs> round. A simplum. A simplum. A way of getting new varieties of plums into the market, assimilating them into a new place. I, I was thinking a variety of plum, uh, a certain variety of plum, uh, perhaps. A sin plum. Um, or it's it's a, it's an it's an orientation to something like it's um it's like like catty corner you know it's like it's not catty corner but it's a different one it's a simplum like oh like where's the um the store is a simplum to the um to the, yeah. to the stoplight that's like that is it great. sounds so natural like <laughs> oh. yeah it's just a simplum to the to the uh that corner store yeah yeah that yeah works. exactly exactly mm. it's the winner. Yeah. All right. Uh, this one is interesting. Um, I'm interested. Suffer God. <laughs> <laughs> what we're all doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my God. You feel like you are. Uh, uh, now, do you think that you would say that you are Suffer God, or do you think that you would say you are Suffer Godding? I suffer got it. Uh, <laughs> or like or 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 it's like a state, like you're you're in a state of suffer god. Like mm. you're experiencing uh. suffer god when like you're um you're uh it's like when you're miserable but like you're ecstatic about it. Like the way that like really um religious people will like uh just uh like you know like but they're happy <laughs> but <laughs> like kind of thing like you're suffering you're not living a life you really like but like it's all in the name of the afterlife anyway so like you know so you'll just suffer deal god. there's yeah. a lot of people doing the suffer god thing it's a it's a new <laughs> it's yeah. a big suffer god <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we, I think we got that one. Uh, let's see, let's get a, at least one more in, and then then like we can uh, we can shift over to. Okay. To, I'm curious to see what this big thing is that we're gonna be quom. Oh, I love that word. Yeah, this one. Okay, this one. I I'd like to, even though this is the lightning round, I would like to take a second, if we could all take a second and think if there is something in our lives that needs this word. Um, hmm. Hmm. That needs the word. Like, like something that... An object or an idea? 
I, I, I think it could be kind of anything um, that just you, you keep trying to describe it, um, but it doesn't, you can't, you haven't found a word yet, but uh, you think Quom could, could fit it. Anything coming to either of you? I can't no. think of something. Um, like the amount of ohm in something? Like quantifying the amount of ohm in something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a quantity of ohm. Like, quantity of ohm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like how like hippies used to like like um <laughs> like uh just talk about yeah, they're like, oh yeah, that person's got like a lot of qualm. Like they're 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 super awakened. <laughs> like they're super blissful. They've got qualm. so much qualm. Yeah, I can you're feel your qualm. Just like day. you've got so much qualm. Like <laughs> like a I, really high qualm. I, I I will say that this word has it has a really mysterious quality it does. to me. Um, I. I, I don't know. There's something I really like about this word. And I feel like it kind of uh, could be like a certain state of mind, like, or like a certain state that you could be in um, that is kind of like marked by kind of like kind of questioning the mysteries of life Um but in like this very contented way. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like getting those like Zen flavors, like where you're just like, right. being, like yeah. So this is definitely like we're we're in like the spiritual hippie, like like that's that's the realm that this word exists in. Is yeah. I feel like it might be like a later stage of life, kind of like a mm. like Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's Quomish at the moment. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> like you've lived, you've seen things, like yeah, like you're, now you're integrating your experience. In yeah. Quoming. Yeah, that Quoming I, I feel like that, that gets to that gets to my idea. But like maybe instead of questioning the the mysteries of life, you're sort of contemplating. Like you're oh, shit. You're, you're in this state. Uh, where you've lived, you've lived some life, and now you're sort of contemplating the experiences that you've had. Uh, Garbanzo just put a finger up and ran off. I'm pretty curious what's going to happen next. Uh, Me too. Maybe this triggered something. Maybe uh, he's just maybe run off to get some water. Here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no way of knowing. There's no way uh, of knowing. Another mystery of life that we can qualm about. Right. wonderful did i miss anything about <laughs> no <laughs> you didn't uh, <laughs> great uh so um i feel like maybe it's it's about time i think it the time has come uh, yes to address 
the the real point of this episode, um, which is a point. <laughs> to define the word asteriously. Is that, that's the name of this episode. Yeah. yeah, it is the name of this episode. Now, I did write a little song for this. Um, uh, would you like to hear it? Of course. Yeah, yeah, love to. <clears throat> uh, let me... What what's it mean to be asterious? It's mysterious to me. Is it something about the asteroid belt? I felt curious what you believe. I'm serious, I have a theory, but I'd love to hear yours too. So what's it mean to be as serious? It's mysterious to me. But if we try now, we might figure how to find out asteriously. Ah, Woo! That was a that was a goddamn gorgeous song. It's beautiful. Thank you. I really liked. Um, I really liked. Um, I'm serious. I have a theory, but like, oh, so good, so fucking good. I have a made up word. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I said, I said this at the top, uh, but I just had kind of, sort of, randomly found this uh, fake word generator uh, with the idea of like, what could be done, you know for a fun show that Jan was on. Um, and this word came up. I didn't think much of it at first. Like I thought, that's kind of a silly word. Almost immediately, it started getting in my head and a song started forming around it. Um, and pretty soon, uh, what's it mean to be mysterious? Uh, yeah, it was just there. Maybe maybe that's like what the word means. It's like when you just like when fucking you just get the idea when it just comes like and it's like all there, you know, it like feels like received. You're just like, holy shit. Like I just, you know, just there it was like the song was just there. Like, you know, it came to you mysteriously. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. I so. I, I I have thought a bit about this word, um, and I really I, I want to say my definition, and then I w I'd like to kind of keep talking about it because I I don't want to define it myself because I think what okay. you said I think there's a lot of good things that can be said about that, um, but the idea that I had was you know there's that aster there which is very uh star like you know there's there's a quality there of uh you know that that prefix means star i think you know yes uh, that i was thinking a master without the m that's true that's something uh, that i was thinking about I, I'm... That I, I thought of like uh this idea of being like uh a star like um you know, the way that like a real, somebody who has like real kind of like star quality to them. Um, and if you are being asterious, it's like you are being like a star. Uh, like you, but it's not just like that you have like charisma and stuff, but there's like a serious quality to it. Like that you are like really 
embodying this idea of like what it means to be a star where you're working hard and you uh but you have like this quality that's really getting out to people that is uh kind of like connects with people in sort of this like ooh like who's that you know yeah yeah like a like a kind of like vision driven like magnetism you're like you're like this is like the fucking thing that i'm like it's a thing that needs to be in the world like it's got to happen like yeah, i yeah, i know yeah. what this is and i'm going to fucking do it and like people are like hell yeah like you're you're a star you're fucking asterius like yeah Right. What are you, what are you thinking, Garbanzo? I, yeah. Now I feel silly saying what I was gonna do because I think that yours uh, was on point. I don't know. No, I I actually I really like uh, what you were saying, Jane. Too. Um, I don't I don't want to just like jump past that because I think this like being stricken sort of with uh, it's like inspiration, but it's. Uh, uh, it's mysterious. It, yeah, there's like another quality to it uh, besides just like inspiration. Uh, kind of, I, I don't know, like where it, it takes it forward, like into like creation. Um, yeah, well, yeah, like they're kind of related, like what you're saying and what I was saying, you know, like they can, they kind yeah. of like dovetail with each other. Yeah, yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, it's like uh, inspired. Uh, you said you said that really nicely. Uh, uh, Vision driven magnetism is that what you said? Yeah, that's what I said. That was pretty good. Was <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> I was like, all right, <laughs> because like because that kind of uh, it's like uh, inspired vision driven magnetism, kind of like. Yeah, because like the vision is like comes to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm and, just gonna pop that down so I can start uh, getting this uh, getting this definition down. Uh, <laughs> Asterius. How many words did you have to go through to get to that one? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I just kind of was flicking through to see what. Uh, what words there were. Um, I don't know. Maybe I did five or something. Yeah, I don't know. Woo! We got it. <laughs> well, you got it. You, you, you got it. I didn't get it. I, I, I am kind of curious what you were going to say, though. Uh, maybe I don't there's... remember anymore. I got kind of lost in your definitions. Yeah. I mean, I will say that I, I came in pretty hot there. Uh, <laughs> I should have maybe let you go first. <laughs> because well, I mean, you had a whole song written about it and everything. Yeah, no, I, I had like at least a week and a half of thinking about this. <laughs> I came in not knowing what we're doing or anything. <laughs> so, okay, it's called Mysteriously. <laughs> I thought it was going to be about asteroids to be like this whole thing is. But. It could have been. This is more interesting, I think, for now. Uh, so I'm just gonna. Uh, well, I don't know if you saw this earlier. Um, uh, I do want to show. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. This oh, is Quom, uh, by the way. I just I threw it in there. I thought mm. maybe it'd be nice to check yeah. out. It's like a punk record. I know. It looks <laughs> yeah. most out of any of the ones that we've done so far. This looks like a record cover. Have any of yeah. them had words? Have they got like, uh, one one kind of got close. That looks like words. Just Isn't in a different way. Yeah, yeah. Re Refellable uh kind of had some words. Huh. Here we can just we can quickly go through. There's directionism. Uh here was that was uh, a random image that got generated. Yeah. Yeah, weird, right? Uh this one they're gonna put us out of business. The, what the, the fuck is happening there? 
It's a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. When we were watching, when this one was generating, we were both like, we were both talking about something else. And then we just kind of like slowly stopped talking. We're like, what the fuck is that? It looks like a crime scene photo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does. Uh, this one kind of had some words. Refillable. Uh... Oh, yeah. That one was really random. That last one. So. Yeah. Well, just... I think it got it got a little Pokemon in there. I don't know what the like fleshy stuff is about. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's the weird part. It's, but like, yeah. I I pointed this out earlier. But look at that like nice little cobblestone that goes through kind so of so weird. It kind of comes out the back of that whatever that fleshy thing is. It's. Real weird. Real weird. Infallible. And here I is... I should be looking at it, almost. As, asteriously. Ah. Isn't that a nice so image? It's kind of taking some of like the words into account. Like, yeah. Right. No, yeah. This is, this is an AI thing. So like, I'm putting in the... And, the word and it's doing something with that word. Oh, that's freaky. Yeah, it's strange. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. That, that freaks that, like as a pinner, that's just freaky that they could do that. Oh geez. <laughs> okay. There it is, everyone. So that exists now. Seriously. Like, seriously. <laughs> Vision-driven magnetism. I really, uh, I do hope, I, I personally feel like this word um, is something that I am looking for in my life. Mm. Like, I, I want this word to exist. Um, I commit to using it <laughs> with no preface and just make it sound like it's any other word. <laughs> yeah yeah and then and then like asks, if someone asks what it means i won't say like we just made it up i'll be like oh it's like you know like like when you have something that's kind of like received like and you're like you're feeling it and like you're just bringing it forward to the world like you're on your shit you know like hysterious and they'll be like oh okay like and i'll start using it yeah if i go to a friend's like like uh concert i'll say that was hysterious man that was yeah 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 oh. yeah I mean, bring any of the words tonight. I really, I I really hope that you uh, people start bringing them forward. Um, Is this how slang starts? Can we just start our pretty much? <laughs> oh, yeah, macho slang. Uh, I I do want to, like you know, I think some of them are do have very specific, you know, refillable. I think is out there in the world uh, and needs that architectural style does need to be uh, talked about. Uh, it, it's useful to have a word for it. Maybe not used all the time. Uh, Asteriously, I think a great thing. Some of them, like uh, Stroma thing that we were talking about earlier, maybe not so useful in the world. Maybe not so useful, very Assert specific. Assertable. Uh, Pokebroard, I think, does... Uh, <laughs> address something in the world yeah uh, no it does so, it does uh go forth and use poke Broad, everyone uh upling we also have upling uh upling is a good one too yeah uh, so what what do you think upling means i i i won't keep uh us here too much longer but i i am curious I about carbonzo up i guess like making progress in life you're an upling or somebody that's can... kind of where we got to yeah you're, you're already there yeah right. so that means that this is a word then because like people just know what it means without yeah. having to explain it right also it does have a second definition of an upling which is uh um like a stage of uh development um you know at a certain point you know you're like going through maybe puberty right uh yeah and you're kind of an upling. You're an is upling. that what you said earlier, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think refillable works for like a bamboo. Like I could see it being on like bamboo toilet paper packaging. 
Like it comes from a refillable <laughs> source. <laughs> a refillable source. <laughs> Be like, oh, that's so nice. Like, yeah, that's, that's really good. Nice. Oh, we need other... to buy this refillable toilet paper if we're going yeah. to save the world. Yeah. Um, I I also uh, I I do think that uh, that last definition that we got on uh, a simplum uh, definitely has some uh, you know real. <laughs> A real chance to be something, even Let's though we did in this world. Yeah, even though we didn't define what <laughs> what uh, the orientation is. What the orientation is, uh, I think somebody will come up with it. Uh, yeah, just start It'll... saying it. Just start describing things as a simplum to other things. Somebody <laughs> will get try. it. Somebody like, will get it. What the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> <laughs> It could lead to some mix-ups, but I'm willing to try it. <laughs> That's their fault then. They won't ever say yeah. that it, because no one is going to... It's the kind of word where no one's going to admit that they don't know what it means. People are just going to be like, oh, yeah, sure. It's a simple to that. Got it. Got it. Cool. <laughs> and then they're just going to go looking for it. And and they're, maybe they'll find it and they'll be like, oh, I guess a simple means like... like two yeah, houses down to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, uh, Great. I think, I think uh, is my favorite one of the words. Just sound. It's a nice word. <laughs> yeah, it does have a really nice sound. I wasn't, I wasn't like really sold on it when I first saw it, but uh, our conversation really, yeah, a simple. It just has a nice quality to it. It's fun to say. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's great. It's great. <clears throat> all right okay well, uh is there anything that uh I, I get the feeling that it's uh getting to be about that time uh is there anything that you would like to promote uh it doesn't necessarily it can be something that uh, you have something out in the else? world or just something that you would like people to know about more or uh you just think is great Uh, soma kombucha soma it's kombucha brewed with honey it's a june kombucha it's got more probiotics than some other kombuchas because it ferments longer and uses honey instead of sugar it's really tasty great cool. um do i want people to know about this again today also it, uh if not don't worry <laughs> I'm drawing huge blanks, massive blanks. Oh, okay. I'll just, I'll just tell, I'll just tell everybody about a podcast I've been listening to that I like a lot. It's called Bandsplain, and it's on Spotify, and it is the fucking best. Like the episodes are like, the episodes are like, at least two hours. Like they, they did like a two part episode of Metallica that was like eight hours, and it's just like they just like dive deep into into bands. Um, and they're like, it's not like pedantic or it's not boring it's like you know it's just like one person talking to another person they're just kind of like nerding out about like whatever band and it's so good it's like it's like all i listen to now it's like got my heart it's like the podcast it's called bandsplain bandsplain yeah and it's like pretty broad too like like i listen to metallica one but there's like fucking cheryl crow and reba mcintyre like randy newman Ooh. lil kim icp the red hot chili peppers you two the Minutemen, like all sorts of different kinds of bands. That sounds cool. I'm going to check that out. The one on ICP was really good. I bet that's an interesting one. Yeah, I it was great. Ah, cool. Well, uh, cool. I guess I, I will say uh, that I um, follow us, uh, follow the hot show on all different things Instagram, Twitter on uh on um youtube please subscribe on youtube because uh if we get to 50 uh subscribers then we can change the name from a bunch of random numbers and letters uh into just hot the cat how do you find it on youtube i tried to find it on youtube the other day but it's, i couldn't it's almost uh, possible it's pretty <laughs> difficult 
<laughs> it is uh, almost impossible. We need a word for that. Impossible to find on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, talking about internet uh, things. Yeah. You know, this is like kind of like suffer God. Like <laughs> <laughs> you're suffering for the cause. This is, this is suffer a serious God. suffer God. <laughs> Um, I love these words. <laughs> I really hope. I know that, like most, like this will be seen by so few people. But I just hope one of these words makes it out of here. Like, uh, like little baby sea turtles running down the shore trying yeah. to make it to the ocean. <laughs> yeah. One of these turtles is gonna make it. Just like not like necessarily even common usage. But just like somebody says it sometime, uh, like just I a... really see refillable being a thing in advertising. It might Refill happen. Well, yeah, no, like in in your in your definition, I think that one also actually has real potential. Uh, I think so too. Yeah, a refillable for it's like a sustainable. Uh, sustainable made of wood, right? <laughs> yes. It can be fellable over and over again. <laughs> All right, is this the end? This is the oh, end. Refer right. to this. Song. Okay, so here's the here's the outro song. Thank you so much, uh, Dan, for being here. This was. Mm -hmm. Our true joy. Uh, I really we... love doing this. This um, was a lot of fun. Yeah, I really hope you can uh, come back again soon. Um, I think it would be great. Uh, yeah. You can always uh, define more words. Uh, <laughs> I'm super into that. Anytime, anytime. I anytime. love this. Yeah. I had a fucking blast. Yeah, <laughs> this was great. Um, Galanto, thank you, as always, for uh, hanging out. You are one of the true uh, um, stalwarts of this show. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> Good people. Um, yeah, and thanks anyone who ever sees this. Uh, thanks for sticking around for two and a half hours of Whoa. complete nonsense. <laughs> mm. Well, Useful nonsense that you can carry forward into the world. Please mm -hmm. use all of these words. Uh, <laughs> all right. That was the hat show. Thank you all for coming down. That was the hat show. Thank you all for sticking around. Hope you had some fun, cause now the show's done. So go on, get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Good night. <laughs> Good night.